The Landing Place is a comprehensive youth program of Knox County Homeless Coalition that provides relational support for highly resilient and often marginalized youth living in Mid-Coast, Maine. Located in the heart of downtown Rockland, The Landing Place strives to compassionately engage with youth who are at high risk of experiencing different types of adversity, such as unstable housing and homelessness, food insecurity, unreliable transportation, insufficient access to resources, supplies, and services, personal conflicts at home, at school, and in the community. Using trauma-informed, strength-based, and restorative practices, the Landing Place, in coordination with Knox County Homeless Coalition, aims to break cycles of poverty by connecting with families, school districts, and community members. Young people today are growing up in a society that looks very different than the one that I grew up in. Social pressures and peer dynamics have become more intensified. Social media and our ever-advancing technology have caused young people to be exposed to so much more at such young ages. Drugs have become more unpredictable and dangerous, and many young people lack essential supplies, resources, and steady streams of support. More and more these days, our youngest community members are experiencing chronic trauma, neglect, and abuse. They frequently describe themselves as feeling anxious, depressed, and lonely. And as a result, they often resort to unhealthy coping mechanisms, such as self-harm, isolation, and substance use. I feel like my social skills have improved deeply because I don't have very many. And being able to be in an environment with so many people kind of helps. Because it gives me happiness, and it's the little happiness I get. It's a good resource for the youth, especially those that might be struggling with issues at home, maybe involving parents, and I mean, it's a shame when a kid gets kicked out especially, and it's good to have a place that they can go, especially in a place like Maine, where it's very cold for most of the year. The concept for the landing place originated several years ago when a small group of concerned community members began working together on a plan to more comprehensively support local youth in Mid-Coast, Maine. Basically, there are four components to our model at the landing place. Community outreach efforts, a low barrier youth center, case management services, and shelter solutions for youth. While each of these components has its own focus and set of objectives, they all connect and work together in unison with one another to ensure that we are doing our best to comprehensively address the needs of individuals and families in the most holistic and thoughtful ways possible. Just hang out, man. Just be yourself. That's the fun part. No judgment. So we first landed at 61 Park Street during the summer of 2017 and right away began to reach out and make connections. Eventually, these community outreach efforts not only helped to shape our overall vision for the landing place, but also enabled us to establish a really strong foundation of community-based support, which in turn has led to a steady system of reliable volunteers, collaborative partnerships, and regular donations of food, clothing, bathroom supplies, etc. In January of 2018, we were able to hire a case manager to begin working individually with older teens and young adults. Our case management services are available to young adults and teens in the area. Uh, we work with folks all the way from Waldboro to Belfast and Thorndike, and any individuals that find themselves in need of housing assistance or nutritional assistance, um, so medical assistance as well, like getting health insurance and um, seeing a provider, mental health needs such as accessing um, therapy and other mental health services. We also assist clients with transportation, let it be just temporary need from getting one place to another or um, bigger goals such as getting their driver's license. Uh, we help folks with uh, truancy prevention as well, so trying to make sure folks are staying in schools and we collaborate with the school system and with their families to try to support them and making sure that they're on track to graduate and pursue whatever further education as well. So as a case manager, I can help them explore further opportunities, let it be through trade school or college or employment after school. Um, and any wide variety of um, needs that the client may have to, to get on their feet and um, become whatever success they'd like to become, um, that's what we're here for. There are intentional, evidence-based reasons why we do what we do at The Landing Place in terms of embracing things like positive youth development, using strength-based, restorative, and trauma-informed practices, honoring different types of learning styles, multiple intelligences, and multi-sensory learning strategies. All in all, we offer numerous opportunities for youth to feel successful, demonstrate their strengths, and engage in fun and meaningful ways. 
If you look around, you'll see that our youth center is set up in a way that subtly empowers youth to choose what they want to do and to be where they want to be. If they want to engage in an activity that they enjoy doing, then they can do so. And if they want to just take some time and space away from others, they can do that as well. We work closely with clinical consultants and mental health specialists to develop best practices and subsequently we do our best to promote positive alternatives and stress relief strategies for youth who may be struggling with anxiety or perhaps may be prone to self-harm. Youth who exude hyperactive and attention deficit tendencies are given things to safely squeeze, pull, smush and pound. We offer creative outlets, kinesthetic activities, and interactive experiences for youth who chronically wrestle with depression or may have experienced some sort of trauma in their young lives. As a way of encouraging other-centeredness, inspiring personal responsibility, countering self-absorption, and helping youth to develop interpersonal relationship skills, we invite youth to perform random acts of kindness, assist with chores, and participate in volunteer service projects. We aim to keep things as fair and consistent as possible, and we really try our best to implement our trauma-informed training into our interactions with youth. For example, we don't get all worked up about a kid not wanting to maintain eye contact, or not saying thank you, or not wanting to reciprocate a high five or a fist bump. There's probably a very good reason why a kid is choosing not to engage in this particular way. And more often than not, it's not simply because they're meaning to be rude or disrespectful. At the end of the day, it's about honoring and respecting one another in the moment and patiently working together to build trusting relationships. Well, I would definitely say that this is a community that has, you know, certainly a lot of, a lot of challenges at times. And um, there are a lot of kids that definitely need positive supports in their life. Um, and I think that the model that any place uses focused on strength-based and uh, trauma-informed care is very important for this, this group of kids. Um, I have grew up in this Mid-Coast community and I've been working in the field for about you know, 19 years and I've certainly seen the issues um, and I think having a safe place um, for the kids to go where there'll be, you know, there's adult supervision um, but also just someone to kind of check in with and someone that can, can speak to them. Adolescents in general are pretty suspicious of, of adults um, and being able to focus on the positives that are oftentimes used to hearing what they're screwing up, what they're doing wrong, you know, from parents, you know, you know, grades, all that stuff, and to have a place where they'll be accepted for who they are and where their, um, their positive attributes will be really celebrated, I think is absolutely huge. So we just recently hired a Shelter Solutions Coordinator to help us launch our first wave of Shelter Solutions in the form of host homes in which local youth can be offered a safe and healthy place to temporarily live for a while without having to uproot from where their best collection of natural supports currently happen to exist. And what I love about you know, what's going on right now is you're attracting a lot of younger kids, which is key. If you get in the middle school age kids, those are the kids you can really work on prevention. And then as these kids age and they learn this is a safe place, um, you can be there as they get older, um, you know, I think the idea of, of, of assisted apartments are huge, helping them learn those adult skills they might not be getting in their, their homes. Um, and just getting, getting known, and I would love to see, you know, more community involvement. Um, we've got a wonderful community and, and people don't, there's a lot of people that want to help, but don't always know how. And I think you're offering a place to, have, to, to really make a difference for community members as well. So I grew up in Lincolnville and went to high school in Camden. And um, I certainly thought I knew my community, but when I started in this field, you know, I always knew there were, there were challenges. I didn't know how great they were. Um, and when, you know, almost 20 years ago, I, I started working in child welfare, I was, I was horrified um, sometimes, but just how, how serious poverty and substance abuse um, and mental illness is rampant in our community, but it is hidden. And we don't see it, we don't talk about it. Um, and, I wanted to shout to the rooftops, people look, you know, these, these people need help. Um, and how do you, how do you help? Because there's people that, that want to hear that, they want to help, but they don't know how to. And I think that by, by sort of taking some of the, taking out the shadows a little bit and saying it's not, you know, yes, we have a beautiful community, but we've got challenges like any community and, and we've got the resources to help people. We've got the resources to help these kids and to hopefully, you know, change some of the patterns of, of of abuse and mental illness and substance abuse um, for, for this coming generation. Our youth center is intended to be a safe, welcoming, and inclusive place for all youth. You don't have to be poor and homeless to be part of the landing place. 
While some of the youth who attend our youth center clearly have more significant needs than others, our goal has always been to squash the stigma, so to speak, and create an upbeat, lighthearted environment where all youth feel safe, welcome, and included. Our TLP staff puts a lot of intention into really listening without judgment to what's being said and taking into account what the youth are really telling us. Um, the Leather Place has impacted my life by letting me have a place that I can just go and hang out when I'm stressed and really get away from everything else. It's impacted my life a lot because it has helped me out of multiple problems when I haven't wanted to go home. And so that was just a place I went. It's made me have more opportunities with clothing and food and I'm not as worried because I have somebody I can talk to here with the people. It's like a family and I love it. Usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I don't really like to go to school that much. But now that I know I can go to a landing place, I'm up and ready. When I first started middle school, or like uh, beginning of summer, or no, late summer, beginning of school, I was in a very, very dark place. And I didn't go to the landing place. I had heard of it and I'd gone there a few times, but I wasn't there enough to like really like take it in as something that I could enjoy. And then I, I was in such a dark place and almost as soon as I started going back, I felt almost a bit better because I was getting that human interaction that I otherwise wouldn't have because I keep myself self secluded in my house. While at the center, youth interact with friends, talk, text, laugh, play video games, do art projects, munch on snacks and sandwiches, bake cookies and brownies, make fresh fruit smoothies and milkshakes, participate in various on-site and off-site activities. They also fill up supply bags with free clothing, blankets, extra food, hygiene products, and other donated items. They perform random acts of kindness, ask for help with a multitude of real-time challenges and personal life stressors, and receive compassionate mentorship from TLP staff who are trained and skilled at engaging with high-risk individuals in strength-based, restorative, and trauma-informed ways. Uh, we, you know, we try to have conversations with the youth and guide them in the right direction. We do connect them with social services if need be. Uh, we try to find out if there's issues of food insecurity or housing insecurity and make connections for them so that they can get those um, basic needs met. And I'd like to think that they enjoy coming and they actually they, they keep coming back so there must be something good about it for them because it's certainly optional for them to show up or not. So um, we should try to at least let them know that we care about them and that we're available and uh, they take advantage of that when the need arises. Basically being a low barrier center means that we want to make it relatively easy for youth to walk through the front door in a comfortable and welcoming way. We don't want them to feel overwhelmed with all sorts of requirements and paperwork when they initially walk through the door, and we certainly don't want them to feel judged. With that being said, we actively engage with the youth while they're there, and we do hold them accountable for their actions and behaviors. Our rules of the landing place are simple and clear, and they're rooted in the principles of positive youth development. In fact, there are only four of them. Be respectful, be appropriate, be kind, and use common sense which essentially means no stealing, no weapons, no fighting, no violence, no sexual references or sexual activity, no possession, use, or selling of drugs and alcohol. Common sense. Simply stated, we're trying our best to treat attending youth like the young emerging adults that they are by challenging them to behave appropriately, live respectfully, use common sense, and be kind to one another. So no, we don't have a lot of rules, but the ones we do have truly need to be honored in order to keep our space safe vibrant and respectful? Um, it has definitely helped me uh, through a bunch of stuff because the adults talk to you like whenever that you need and it's a good place to talk with your friends also and they respect your privacy and they don't judge first off. Um, helps me because after school I don't really do a lot of stuff and so it gives me a place to go and hang out and like do stuff. I came myself more often it's just, I get to talk to people that I see on a regular basis, but we get to hang out outside of school and just be able to be 
hang out with each other. Right? That's the funnest part. Uh, the Lego Place has helped me by giving me new clothes, by giving me food and a place to hang out. We also take a very clear stand against meanness, hatred, and intolerance. We embrace differences and we celebrate diversity. The Landing Place is not okay with racism, sexism, homophobia, and general meanness. At The Landing Place, we expect individuals to treat each other with decency and respect. But please don't get me wrong, The Landing Place is certainly not all sunshine and roses. Things do get messy from time to time in terms of language and behaviors, and sometimes the youth aren't especially kind or respectful to one another. But that's all part of our work here. Our job at The Landing Place is to set a clear and consistent tone of expectation that provides a safe space for young people to work through conflicts and frustrations, to develop real life skills, and to learn how to engage in more positive ways. We don't expect the youth to be perfect. In fact, we expect them to make mistakes and push boundaries. And so it is our job to work collaboratively as a team to stay engaged with the youth and to help them navigate their way through an ever increasingly complex matrix of adolescence. The Landing Place contributes a safe spot for any individual who may not have a safe spot at home. It provides um, a warm meal when you otherwise may not be supplied with one. It gives you um, a store, or store, um, which is a, like a free spot. It's, it's almost like a goodwill without, without having, needing payment. Either new or used, slightly used clothes will be donated to the store and you can go and take whatever you think you need. It gives you somewhere away from home that you can go and you can plant yourself and you can be like, okay, this is what I need. And they can help you provide it and they can help you find the resources. Certainly being under the organizational structure and 501c3 nonprofit status of Knox County Homeless Coalition offers enormous benefits to the landing place in terms of being able to regularly interact in supportive ways with an experienced team of case managers, homeless service providers, and administrative team leaders. In addition, the landing place is extremely fortunate to have been granted a five-year runway of private funding by a generous group of donors who are invested in providing the landing place with an opportunity to grow in creative, effective, and sustainable ways without having to initially focus so much time and energy on fundraising efforts. With that being said, the Landing Place is already working in collaboration with the Knox County Homeless Coalition's leadership and development teams to develop sustainable fundraising strategies and new revenue streams to ensure that the Landing Place will be around well beyond this initial five-year gift of funding. If there was no Landing Place, I would be really sad and probably depressed. If there was no Landing Place, I'd probably be home in my bed doing absolutely nothing probably laying there and since I'm here I get out and I go see friends and I go for walks and I hang out with people that probably make me feel very happier than if I didn't hang out with them. Yeah it's the funnest part when I first came here and I know I think it's a school field trip and just I don't know a week later I came here and I've been coming here for a year and a half now ever since. So what's the landing place all about? It's about working collaboratively with our surrounding community and actively engaging the youth in what's going on around town. It's about not having to be perfect and giving kids a chance to learn from their mistakes. It's about working through things together. It's about helping youth to think things through and making sure that they don't feel alone in it all. So much of our work here at The Landing Place is just about being there for youth, consistently showing up and following through with what we say we're gonna do. It's about going out of our way to help to really listen and to find solutions. The young people don't need to be reminded of how difficult and messy their lives happen to be. They need to be acknowledged. They need to be validated and supported. But they don't need to be coddled, pitied, or judged. They're resilient, they're strong, they're brave. And so dwelling on how difficult and messy their lives happen to be will only serve to hold them back rather than help them move forward. We are currently about a year and a half into our five-year strategic plan. And of course, our goal is for the landing place to be around well beyond those five years. My hope is that the landing place continues to develop as a strength-based, solution-oriented center for community involvement and teen empowerment. It's unlikely that we're ever going to suddenly solve youth homelessness or put an end to food insecurity or fix anyone's life for that matter. But if we can continue to be a steady and comprehensively supportive presence in the lives of some of the higher risk youth and families in our community, and if we can continue to serve as a center for inspired collaboration within our Midcoast community for many more years to come, 
then hopefully our efforts here at the landing place will in time prove to have been memorable, meaningful, and worthwhile.